emergency service and 24 miles straight through the buses and 20 and two of the streetcar routes. The night network just debuted in February of 1987. Well, back in 1987, the Route 77 was not in Swansea, it was a Spadina bus. It was driven by former fighter pilots. The trip rivaled anything that the X had to offer at the time. <laughs> and inspired much music to have a video. This is what it looked like pre-1987. This is what it looks like now. Not too much difference up north. Down south, this is what it looked like just after the sky home was built. Things have progressed since then. We have basically added half the population of the capital city of Prince Edward Island to south of Front Street. They live in high density buildings along the 509 and 510 street court, streetcar corridors. So notice on the map there's this big honking gap in the middle of the bottom. These are our top 10 busiest routes. I'm warning you, I'll be back in 2015 about the 504 car. But the Spadina car is the number two busiest route in the system. It has no blue night service right now. Queen and Spadina have close to the same number of passengers, but there is a big difference. Per kilometer, Queen moves about 1,800 passengers. Per kilometer, Spadina moves 7,100 passengers per kilometer. Toronto's second is a surface route. It has no 24-hour service. Three routes end west of, you know, yeah, at the exhibition loop. That's 12 and a half percent of all of our Blue Night routes ending there. The only other place that has three routes ending there is Young Lakington. Some of you may be familiar with that area. 20 percent of all Blue Night uh, vehicles are on the 320 Elm Street, with the southern, southern terminus at Queen's Key and Bay. With almost 17% of our routes ending at these two termini, up to 28% of all number, uh, Blue Knight vehicles end south of Front Street in these two areas. At the moment that we offer no service to our customers between these two southern ends. By combining our current 509 and 510 routes, we can service residents along the Spadina Avenue south of, and south of Front Street. The system would, would the down run would be 15 minutes to Queens Key. Seven minutes Union, seven minutes from the or seven minutes from Queen's Key to Union, seven minutes from Union back to Spadina again, seven minutes to the exhibition loop with a two minute layover. The opera would be seven minutes west of Spadina, fifteen minutes north of the Spadina station with another two minutes layover. Total run time would be sixty minutes. These timings are based on Sunday morning observations from five ten AM or five fifteen AM to ten AM. They reflect current track conditions, which, well, we all know about those, with 80 to 90% of the stops in service during these time periods. The route timings would start the exhibition loop at the quarter hours, 15 and 45. This would allow better connection with the new streetcar route and the buses that are already servicing there for better safety and convenience for passengers. Currently, the last southbound streetcar leave is at 2.30 a.m. Monday to Friday, 2.45 on the weekends. The first southbound car starts again at 5 a.m. So there's already lots of service there. You would only need two extra streetcars for two and a half hours each. There's enough capacity at the Rochester CIS to handle this without extra supervision costs. The wholesale cost of operating TTC vehicles is about $80 an hour. That's label, la labor, fuel, or electricity. At five hours per night, the daily cost is about $400 per day. Next job board starts the 17th of June. That would be $78,000 for the rest of the year. It's not feasible to redo it to start it that quick. We're already looking at amending the service on the 29th on the 352 route. So logistically, it makes sense to roll both out at the same time. The cost for the rest of the year would be $62,400. The daily cost to run the queen car is over $101,000. So it's not that much money for the rest of the year. Spadina Station is already set up for streets, streetcar service during hours that the subway is not in service. Union Station would remain closed and the streetcars would just use that as a loop back. We already do that on the Carlton card. 
where it doesn't go into this, the station's in service. It empties passengers at Danforth and at Maine. Yep. I, I started. I didn't start your time. So I didn't start your time. So. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think I was that long. Queen Street Terminal would remain open to connect the 320 Young Bus. 310 Blue Knight Bus would service the 511 stop as it does now. The new streetcar route would service the 5, 509 platform at the exhibition route. Once construction on Queen Ski is completed, the legacy streetcars and the legacy streetcars in service to TC, TDC should work with traffic services and the city to optimize the flow of non rush hour services. There are significant efficiencies to be gained for both car and streetcar traffic flow during these time periods. And that's what it looks like. Thank you. Thanks, Al. Are there any questions? Presenter? Okay. So we'll refer your presentation to Sam. Okay. Thanks, Al. So with the indulgence of the commission, um, 